Welcome. In this video, I'll be providing you an easy and simple explanation for argsort and sort in NumPy. Argsort and sort are important topics in sorting in NumPy, which is one of the most popular libraries in Python. So let's get started. First, let's import NumPy. So import NumPy as NP. Now let's imagine we have some data. And this data could be um, a grades of some students on their test. So let's create a NumPy array called grades. And we'll have this as an array of integer objects representing their grades on a specific test. And let me randomize this. So like 87, 95, 93, 91, and 82. And now let's imagine we have another NumPy array um, corresponding their grades to their names. So this will be the names of the student. So NumPy array. And then each of these names corresponds to the grades in that specific order. So they match up by their index. So we can name this one Alice, next one Charlie, third one Grace, and then something like Bob and Lucas. So this data matches up by the index. So Alice scored 37, Charlie scored 95, Grace scored 93, and Bob scored 91, and respectively so on. And our goal um, is to get the top two students. So the names of the students who got the top two scores on the test. And this is where sorting would be helpful. The normal method to sort an array would be using sort. So let's try that. So we'll get top two. And then we'll sort using the numpy sort function. So numpy sort, and we're going to sort the grades array. Let's also print the result. Top two. And what we would, we would see is another array with the grade sorted from least to greatest, because that's the default in NumPy sort. So sort orders the numbers from least to greatest. And if there are names, then sort orders it alphabetically, so A to Z. And but what we want is the top two grades. So we want from highest to lowest. So in that case, we can just do some indexing. So two colons. So now we can input the skip and we'll do negative one. So it goes from the ending to the beginning of the list. So now we have the top five grades ordered from greatest to least. But we have a few issues here. Firstly, we need the top two students. And secondly, we need the names of the students, not their grades. And this is where argsort plays a important factor. Currently, the only way grades and names are linked are by their index. And Charlie is in the first index, Alice being the zeroth index, and Grace being the third index. So they match up respectively by their index. So what we need is the index of the sorted name. So we basically need this array sorted from greatest to least by its index. So let's explore argsort. So argsort is the function that returns numpy array sorted from least to greatest. As we can see here, so in the fourth index, there's 82, and that is the smallest number. In the zeroth index, there's 87, which is the second smallest number. And then um, in the third index, there is 91, which is the third smallest or third highest number, and so on. And this sorts it from least to greatest, which we want greatest to least, so we can also do the same thing. Now let's run this. And we get it. Um, we get the indexes of the sorted grades from greatest to smallest. And now that we have the indexes, we can easily get the names that we wanted. An easy way to do that would be just have this as the index of the names array. So now we get the names corresponding to each index. And here we have it: Charlie, Grace, Bob, Allies, and Lucas. Those are the names ordered from the greatest to least based on their score on their um, test. And if we wanted just the first two, what we would do is we would, again, slice this. So from the zeroth index, 
till before the second index. So this is the basic comparison of argsort and sort. Sort returns the array sorted from least to greatest. Argsort returns the indices of the values that would have been sorted least to greatest. Okay, that's a quick and simple explanation of argsort versus sort in NumPy. And I hope this video was helpful. If this video was helpful, consider dropping a like and subscribing.